Hey, what's up, guys? This is Randy from Runs Graphics. Welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. And in today's tutorial, we will be creating this. Let's create a new composition and we will name it BG or background. I want to change this to 3840 to 2160. Frame rate is 30. Duration, I want to change this to 8 seconds. Then click OK. Then I will go to layer, create a new solid. And I want this solid named BG. And the color is gray. Click OK. Go to layer, create a new shape layer. Change this rectangle tool to polygon tool. Draw a polygon here. Then open the polystar. Open the polystar path one and change these points to six. I will change the rotation to zero. Change the outer radius to 130. I will move this anchor point at the center of the shape. Okay, center it zoom it in a bit Control d on my keyboard to duplicate it six times and then i will highlight all these shape layers press p on my keyboard for position reposition it one by one according to my choice Then I will highlight it again and close it and then I will pre-compose these shapes and I will name it transparent hexa. Move all the attributes into the new composition and click OK. Press this on my keyboard for the scale, then shift T for the opacity and shift R for the rotation. I will change the opacity here to 25%. The rotation I will change this to 12 and the scale I will change this to 130 I will click my mouse here so that I will not be able to highlight this transparent text huh? so all I have to do is to grab my text tool and type company name I'm using Franklin Gothic Heavy regular at 120 pixel size center it horizontally and vertically Make sure that your text here, the paragraph must be center text. Then make it at the center. Click your mouse here so that you will not be able to highlight this company name. Go to your shape tool and change this to rectangle tool. Make a shape like this, just enough to cover your text. I think that should be good enough. And center it horizontally and vertically. Then I will highlight this company name, press P on my keyboard for the position, move the playhead on the beginning of the timeline, create a keyframe here by hitting the stopwatch on the position and move my playhead to about 1 second and move the position of my text above the rectangle shape like this. Then move my playhead to about 1 second and 15 frames and expand again this text layer. Press this little icon here and choose the tracking, create a keyframe on the tracking amount Move your playhead to about 2 seconds. Make this tracking amount 42. Move your playhead back at the beginning of your timeline. Change the track mat here to alpha inverted mat. There you go. Go to effects and preset perspective. Drop shadow. I will just change the distance here to 20. Softness is 50. Grab again your text tool and type tagline. 
now i'm using futura mdbt at 48 pixel size medium spacing in between letters 200 then i will center it horizontally make sure that paragraph is at the center open your align tool and center it horizontally move it up a bit i will open this text click this little icon choose this tracking move my plate to about 10 frames and make a keyframe on the tracking amount change the value here to 193 then move forward my playhead to about three seconds change the tracking amount to zero and then go back to 15 frames press p on your keyboard for the position make sure that you click your mouse again here and create a shape like this just to cover the text and make sure that it's aligned horizontally create a keyframe on the position but make sure you have to move the tagline layer to the 15 frames duration by clicking open bracket key then create a keyframe on the position by hitting the stopwatch and move your play to about one second and 15 frames reposition your text above the rectangle shape then change the track map to alpha inverted map Now go to your shape tool, make a pentagon like this, open the polystar, go to polystar path and change this rotation to 130 and the outer radius change this to 1050. Then highlight the shape layer and make sure that your anchor point is at the center of your shape. Then drag it down a bit here, maybe like this, okay. Press your keyboard Ctrl D to duplicate it and then choose this below layer, press S on your keyboard for the scale. Make sure that the anchor point on this shape is at the center. Then go back to the shape layer below and change the scale to 110. Highlight it again. Change the color here to CC6123. Click OK. Highlight the two shape layers and control D to duplicate it. Move it up. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Move it on the right side. Move it up. Go to project panel, open it up. Rename this BG to intro. Highlight shape layers 5 and 6. Right click my mouse and pre-compose it and I will name it right pentagon move all the attributes into the new composition click ok there you go and I will highlight this shape layer 3 and 4 I will right click my mouse and pre-compose it and I will name it left pentagon move all the attributes into the new composition click ok Double click this left pentagon, highlight the shape layers 3 and 4, press pre on your keyboard for position, then move your plate to about 1 second and create a keyframe here. Move back your plate to the beginning of the timeline, move this shape out of the canvas. Highlight all the keyframes and press F9 to use it. Open the graph editor, highlight this point and drag the handle on the left side. Then move your playhead to about 10 frames. And then highlight the shape layer 4 and press open bracket key to move that layer so we can create an offset on it there you go go back and open the intro and double click the right pentagon highlight again this shape layer press p on your keyboard for the position move your plate to about 15 frames then create a keyframe here then move back your plate to the beginning of your timeline move this shape outside of your canvas then highlight all the keyframes, press F9 to ease it, open your graph editor, highlight this point and drag the handle on the left side. Now all you have to do is to change the color in here, highlight this layer and change this to this color. Grab the picker tool and just pick that color and click OK. So open the intro again and let's see what happens. Then grab the text tool and type logo here. 
then I will change the color here to this color by the way I'm using Gata font bold at 120 pixels I will change the space in between letters here to 0 I'll just move this text here and I will go to my footage open it up I will drop the circle pop here into the timeline I will right away pre-compose it move all the attributes into the new composition click OK then I will go to effects and preset go to generate and I will just add fill on it I will change the color here to this color then I will also go back to my project panel and drop down this pre-made 9 into the timeline I will right away pre-compose it and move all the attributes into the new composition click ok and I will rename this animated left hex click P on my keyboard for the position move this hex on this side move it a bit here and move it down then I will go to effects and preset go to generate I'll just add fill on it then I will change this color to this color and I will drag it just behind the text I will duplicate this animated X, Control D on my keyboard to duplicate it and I will rename it animated right X. Then I will press P on my keyboard for position, drag it on the right side, then move it up. And I just want to change the color on the animated right X. Move my play to about 1 second and 16 frames. I will move this layer on that duration. Then the animated X left, I want to move it on the 2 seconds and 15 frames. Press open bracket key to move that layer. Drag this above the right X. Then I will highlight this logo here. Press T on my keyboard for the opacity. Move my play to about 1 second and then make this opacity zero create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch and move your play to about two seconds and make the opacity 100 percent as you can see in here that it's out of our canvas all you have to do is to highlight the animated right text press p on your keyboard for the position i will just drag it on the left side of it then drag it up we will scrub our playhead boom there you go go back to your project panel and create a folder here name it intro then i will highlight these compositions i will drag it into that folder i will highlight this primitive comb and i will rename it animated hex also i will highlight this circle pop right click my mouse and rename it i will just take the dot movie comp one here and i will close it i will create another folder in here and i will name it scene one and then i will open the intro i will duplicate this transparent hexa drag it on my scene one folder and i will go to composition and i will create a new composition i will name it scene 01 3840 by 2160 30 frames per second and 8 seconds duration click ok i will just drag this under the scene 1 folder i will grab my shape tool and i will change this polygon to rounded rectangle tool then i will draw a rectangle like this press r on my keyboard for the rotation i will just rotate it a bit Press P on my keyboard for the position, drag it on the right side a bit, drag it down. Control D on my keyboard to duplicate it. Then I will highlight this shape layer 1, press, press S on my keyboard for the scale, I'll just scale it to 110. I will highlight it again, change this color to CC6123, then click OK. Highlight these two layers. Control D on my keyboard to duplicate it. I will drag it up and press P on my keyboard for the position. Drag it on the right side. Like this. Move it up. 
scale a little bit drag it on the left side i think that should be good enough right click my mouse recompose it i will name it right shape move all the attributes into the new composition click ok highlight this shape layer 1 and 2 right click my mouse pre-compose it i will name it left shape move all the attributes into the new composition click ok double click your mouse to open the right shape again grab your text tool and change it to polygon tool then draw a small polygon polystar path change this to 6 outer radius change this to 265 maybe you can change the rotation here to 134.5 move this polygon here go to effects and preset go to perspective add drop shadow i want the distance 10 and the softness is 150 and the angle i want to change this to 180 then I will click P on my keyboard for position. Highlight all these shape layers. Make a keyframe here by hitting this stopwatch. Then move my playhead to the beginning of my timeline. And I want this shape to be out of my canvas. I will again highlight this layer. Make sure that the anchor point must be at the center of my shape. Highlight this keyframe and move it on the 2 seconds and 8 frames. Then I will move my play to about 15 frames. Then I will highlight these keyframes. Move it on that duration. So there will be an offset. Nice. Highlight all these keyframes. Press F9 to ease it. And then open the graph editor. I will just highlight all these points. And drag the handles on the left side. I will just move my play it here and move down my shape a bit i think that should be better then i will open this scene one again open this left shape move my play to about here six seconds press t on my keyboard for the opacity create a keyframe on the opacity move your play head to seven seconds change this opacity to zero Grab your shape tool and change this to ellipse tool. Then press your keyboard shift and draw an ellipse like this. Highlight the shape layer. Drag it on top like this. Then move it at the bottom. Go back to the right shape. Open it up. Go to effects and preset. Add drop shadow. And then change the distance here to 10 and the softness make it 150 then i want the angle here and also this shape layer here go to effects and preset add drop shadow change the distance to 10 the softness is 150 change the angle on this side then go back to scene one again and open this left shape double click your mouse highlight the shape layer 2 go to effects and preset add drop shadow change the distance to 10 and the softness change it to 150 and the angle change it on this side highlight this shape layer 1 go to effects and preset drop shadow change the distance to 10 the softness is 150 the angle move it on this side I think we should be good enough and open this scene one folder. Nice. So now I'm gonna go open my project panel. I'll just drop down this transparent text into my timeline. Press P on my keyboard for the position. I will just drag it down a bit. Just like that. Move it on the right side. Then press my keyboard T for the opacity. Change it to 25%. Then I will create a solid layer. I will name it PG then click ok drag it down below then i will go back to transparent hex press this on my keyboard for the scale and i will just scale it to 190 because i want it bigger then just press p again drag it up a bit move it on the right side then i will go to my composition create a new composition and i will name it placeholder one 
3840 by 2160 30 frames per second and it checks duration click ok then i will open my assets folder open this image drag this down into the timeline process on my keyboard for the scale and i will just scale it down move it up a bit and i will go back to the scene one folder i will duplicate this shape layer by pressing ctrl d highlight the shape layer one press on your keyboard for the scale and change this to 110 highlight again the shape layer and change the color of this one to yellow pre-compose this move all the attributes into the juco position click ok then i will drop down this placeholder one into the timeline just below the shape layer to go change the track mat here to alpha mat as you can see so all we have to do now is to animate it but first you have to go back to the placeholder one scale it down a bit and move it on the left side move your player to about one second highlight this shape layer and placeholder one press p on your keyboard for the position I want this both to be out of the canvas so all I have to do is to drag this out create on the keyframe here move my playhead to about one second and then frames then I will change the value here to 1080 and the X I will change this to 1920 and highlight all these keyframes press F9 to ease it and open the graph editor I will just drag the handles on the left side now grab the text tool draw a rectangle like this then open your notepad here copy this text then paste it here then go to effects and preset add drop shadow change the distance to about 10 and the softness i want it probably 20 then i will go to my effects and preset here open the animation presets go to text animate in go to typewriter and move your playhead to the beginning of your timeline apply this effect so now when we play this there you go create another text and type corporate mandate I will move it on this side and change the color to this color gray click ok I will change the font size here to 72 and the font I will change this to monument extended and I want it regular I will double click it move this mandate down click R on my keyboard for the rotation I will just rotate it a bit I will just eyeball it then I will just move it up highlight the corporate mandate and fix the spelling go to effects and preset I will just add drop shadow distance to about 10 and the softness I want it 20 create a text here so all I have to do is to go back to my text tool I'll just draw a rectangle here Again, open my notepad, copy this text, right click my mouse, copy it, then paste it in here. Then I will highlight this text and change the font size to maybe 48, also this one, change this to 48. Now I want to animate this one, press P on your keyboard for the position, move your player to about one second, then I will create a keyframe here by clicking this stopwatch. Then move my play to the beginning of my timeline. Move the text down until it's out of the canvas. Then I will highlight these keyframes. Press F9 to ease it. Then open the graph editor. Highlight this point and drag the handles on the left side. 
Let's see what happens. And also this corporate mandate, I will highlight it. Then press my keyboard T for opacity. Then move my play to about 2 seconds. Then make the opacity here 0. Create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch. Move your play to about 3 seconds. Change this opacity value to 100%. Highlight these two keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease it. I just move back my plate probably 1 second and 15 frames. And I will just move this keyframe on that duration. So we will preview it. Nice. So now guys, I will go to my composition and create a new composition. I will name it final. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second, but this time I will change this to 15 seconds. Then click OK. Then I will open my project panel, drop down this intro into my timeline. Also, I will drop down this scene one, just above the intro. Move my play to about 6 seconds, maybe. Press open bracket key to move that layer. Move your play to about 13 seconds. Press T on your keyboard for opacity. Create a keyframe here by hitting the stopwatch. And move your play to about 14 seconds. And make the opacity 0. So when we preview this. Nice. As you can see here, we don't want this, so all I have to do is to go back to scene 1, highlight this text layer, move your playhead to 5 seconds and 15 frames, press T on your keyboard for opacity, then create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch, and move your playhead to about 6 seconds, and make this 0. We will go back to final, and let's see what happens. there you go so now guys our tutorial is done i hope that you enjoy it and learn from it and for those people who subscribe my channel thank you very much and for those who are not yet you can subscribe and press the like button and also the notification bell so that you will not be able to miss whatever tutorial video that i'm gonna be uploading in the next coming days okay my thoughts for the day is that when you learn and improve your skills there's always a corresponding reward thank you guys for watching and see you next time god bless